I'm sorry. I I couldn't help but overhear. Are you gonna give me a lecture or call my dad or something? Max, I think I left some maps upstairs. Why don't you go get them? closer to your age than I am to your dad's. So? So, I'm kind of halfway between an adult and a kid, and I can see both sides of it. There is no other side. You know when you're a kid, and you think of your father as this, this superhero, like he's something more than a person, and... Then when you find out that he's really just a guy, you know, that's, that's hard. I know. You know? Well, then how come you're not thinking about what he's going through? I mean, he's, okay, he's not your father, right? He's just Jim, some guy named Jim, okay? He was married to the woman of his dreams your mother for a long time and then he lost her and for years you now he didn't even think about finding someone else but he did Susan he was blessed to find someone else and despite Beth's faults you know she she makes him happy but it was all a lie she cheated on him yes she did she did she made a terrible mistake Susan, people make mistakes. Take it from me, okay? I know. I would be alone right now if I couldn't forgive Jesse for what he did. And I thank God that I am not alone. Love is a gift, okay? When you find it, you fight for it. And that means you have to forgive people. You have to. I'll never forgive that. Well, then, then don't. Then don't. Okay, but your father deserves to be happy. He deserves happiness, whether you like it or not. I don't, I don't usually give advice because I know I always do the wrong thing, but I'm, I know one thing, and one thing, and that's, I lost my father. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about him and wish that I had more time to understand. You know, maybe it's not such a good idea if I come along. Why don't I stick with Susan for a little bit and then wait a week or so until after things settle down? You know? I can't believe you're doing this to me, Max. I'm not going to leave you. Yeah, I know, I know, but you know, I mean, Susan needs me right now. And so do I. Okay, I'm sorry, Susan. This is something you have to work out with your family. You know that, right? So wrong, Susan? No. Everything is fine. It is? custody of Lizzie, so he really doesn't have any say in the matter. Yeah, but they're his children. They're his children. I, I know that. I know that. And he's still going to see them, and I'm their mother. And we can give them a stable life, away from Alan and away from all the reminders of mistakes that I've made. Well, you will get 
get absolutely no arguments from me. Good, good. That's what I want to hear. So, as soon as Lizzie is better, we're going to move and we're going to get away from Alan and Philip and... that when I get better, I'll have to move away. We won't be near Dad or Grandpa or Nana. It'll be just like when Dad left me and Mom in Arizona. I hated that. And you would too. But I'm getting better every day. I don't want to go. Wait a second. I have an idea. decided to give you and Josh a second chance, especially after seeing that sizable donation Lewis Construction made to my campaign. Oh, good. I thought that might convince you. Um, would you mind saying hi to the man of the hour? Please? Josh, you remember Congresswoman Stowe, right? Yes, of course I do. Hi. Boy, uh, thank you for, uh, coming. Thank you for inviting me and for helping me out with my campaign. Oh, well, you know what? I always know a good thing when I see it. <laughs> And again, I'm sorry about that last aborted meeting that we had. Mm, Olivia explained her absence. I'm looking forward to hopefully working with you in the future. Well, that would be great. I am, too. Um, I understand that you're interested in building an international airport, right? We would love to draw up some plans for you. You've got quite a woman here, Josh. She doesn't let up. Yes, I know that. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I get you a... Uh... Oh, here's the other captain of our little team. Oh. Come on in. Ooh, good um, you know Holly, don't you? Yeah. Hello. From the Journal. From the Journal. Hello, Olivia Spencer. Please come in. Make it okay. Thank you. Ooh, look at this. Do you recognize some of these people? That's Congresswoman Stone. Yes. It's John Rogers, fresh billionaire techno system. Yeah. Can't believe she got all these people to come here. Well, look if she got just to forget about Reba, I think she can do just about anything with mm. me. So thank you so much for bringing me. Mm -hmm. Go with me, Scoop. Do I? Do you, you said some stories here, don't you? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You won't mind if I casually slip into no, a couple no, of conversations. No, go ahead. I'll, I'll come pick you up later. Okay, thank you. Hey. Oh, hey. About time you showed up, people well, were starting to talk. I, 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 I like to make, a, I like to make a, a, an entrance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, the, the Olivia pulled out all the stops. She got some heavy hairs. Yeah, I think she pulled about all the strings she has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So going? Uh, uh, so far, so good. Oh, you sound like somebody, uh, something <laughs> bad's gonna happen. Well, there's an outside possibility that Reva and Noah will show up tonight. Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why would Reva and Noah show up? Well, I, I sort of invited her. You did? Yeah, it's, it's okay, though. Uh, Olivia was a little upset about that, so <laughs> I called Reva. And, uh, I left a message on her machine, so uh, don't come by. So hopefully she'll get that message. Yeah. You know, little brother. Huh. You have a knack for making things complicated. Yeah. <laughs> 